no joke, there are a bunch of um, mason bees, I think. They're native bees, and they're all getting pollen, and I've never seen that until I got these other bees. See, that's a native bee. Thank you, Sherry Anderson, for sending this in and for the inspiration. So this is three giant soy sequoias. They're small seedlings, but there's three giant sequoia trees here. Mage must have seen that I make a ton of tortillas and thought that they'd save me some work. <laughs> These will be nice and fortified deer blend. I'll have to do some research there. Uh oh, it's got a little rip. This will definitely attract deer, but I don't want to attract the wrong thing. During hunting season though, it might just be ideal, huh? Uh, comfrey seeds. These could be from um, Charmaine or from Mage. These didn't have a name on them either. But this did. This is from Charmaine and this is Comfrey Seeds. Or wait, those are Comfrey. These are Chamomile. There's Beef Bullion. I've never had that much Bullion in my life. <laughs> two, two containers breadcrumbs I I really burn through this stuff it's great to have a roll of this on hand always and these are the, the spouts that go on the IBC totes you see they're all different so this one's not the same as this one that one's not the same <laughs> that one's not the same and this one is also I think that we got the right one for this now It'll do. If it, even if it is just a hair off, it'll be okay. I haven't been able to get any others to work. This is the right one. So these bits always come in handy. I had a couple small ones, but not a larger one. See, that's what I was needing. This one goes up to one inch and three eighths. So these are really nice set. These are gonna be so appreciated and used every day. He sent two, or Mage, I don't know if that, is that a man's or a woman's name? I don't know. Or is it both? <laughs> Mage sent in two of these. And that's cool because I drink tea and I drink coffee. So I can use one for one and one for the other. And I'll show you what I was using. It's a mess in here right now, but this is what I was using. <laughs> so now I can set one of those stainless steel ones on top. It'll be much, it'll just be much easier, nicer. And uh, thank you. I've got two of these for the aquaponics. But I was thinking already, I thought, man, I'd like to use one in the root cellar. So I could probably put this one over at the root cellar. And that way I can know the temperature in there without having to open it up. Or, well, I don't know. It says it's specifically an aquarium thermometer. We might need to use it with one of the water systems. This is a faucet. And I'm going to get one more of these and I'll put one over here so that I can, you know, easily use this sink more efficiently. And I'll put one down in the geothermal for the garden. I really needed some small files for blacksmithing stuff and all kinds of other stuff. 
and it comes with some larger files as well and a brush is always handy these are tungsten carbide bits they're really good at cutting metal and here's a set of diamond burr bits so this is basically three of the same set of diamond burr bits and finally over here this is a pump like the one i have in the aquaponics only it's about a a quarter of the size and I thought this might be really good for running a filter in the pond out here so I can pump water through a filter to remove algae and whatnot that's the plan uh, I needed these extensions for the solar panels Mage just sent these in I think Mage sent these in there's two of these which will be helpful and a dehumidifier so I don't know, I'm not 100% what Mage is thinking, but you can pull water out of the air with one of these. It's really humid in the in the root cellar. I gotta put ventilation in there, but I could imagine I could pull a lot of water out of the air in there or in the geothermal if I wanted to. Making a video like this is out of the ordinary. I know that some people would watch a video like this and maybe feel bummed that they didn't get a bunch of packages and that's not the intent i i just want to share that someone was kind enough to send all these things in to really help my homestead and i think that's really awesome of them and hopefully nobody feels snubbed and uh man i'll put it all to really good use and i appreciate you guys and and charmaine sending in all those trees and there's still more trees on the way and plants and things and I'm really grateful and it will all get put to really good use on the homestead. Giving stuff away feels good. That's why I'm giving away a power station and an air pump this month and that's why people give me things too. If you want to enter to win the power station and the off-grid tire pump, Check out the links below. My homestead may be rustic, but you can't say that it's a mess. You might have noticed it's pretty spotless. Just about at all times. I, If I see something, I pick it up, I throw it away. If I step on a goat, one of those thorns, I throw it away so it doesn't plant and reproduce. There's just nothing out of place on my homestead. I do have scrap material. I love scrap material and I do have some trash items such as that generator is garbage now. And once every spring I come through here, I wouldn't consider any of this garbage good building materials. Uh, we'll see about the bucket and, and the little bee. This is the package that I got my bees in. I could use that down the road when I split my hives. So I'm going to hold on to it for now. But there are things like, you know, the generator is trash. There's some garbage I've piled up here. Some boxes of trash. Insulation, I don't know. You know, it could be used. But there's garbage in here. I'm going to come through here, pull it all out. And every spring, I load my trailer up. The wind in this clip was too much, so I'm just going to dub it over and tell you that I load my trailer up once a year, haul it to the dump, and even after three years, I've probably only spent $45 hauling trash to the dump, and a lot of people think it's really expensive, so I just wanted to tell you guys, it's, it's really quite cheap to just haul a load, and if you don't buy tons of garbage, you know, you won't have a ton to haul out. I don't want to see garbage bags in the trees and dog food bags and um, I don't want to be I like to walk around barefoot so I don't want thorns on the ground um, a metal can lid that I could cut myself on it's just nice to have you know I came out here and it's pristine and I want it to stay that way here we are at the corner of the fenced off property and then you can see the gate that's the corner of my actual property I have a real link camera set up out there, that's why there's a solar panel. There's a security camera here that looks to the gate, and then there's the camera on the gate that looks out, as well as a game camera over there. And a few projects that I'm really highly considering right now, I want to put in a high quality, nice 
fence around the perimeter of the property, which means I probably need to hire uh, someone to mark the corners. And I found a guy, so I think that's what we're going to do. It's a lot more money than I thought it was going to be, but I think it might be worth it. And then this fence in here, I'm going to pull up and replace. I'm actually going to put it out about 10 feet further and make it a lot nicer. I only have two sheds right now. There's the shed in the middle. That's 200 square feet plus a uh, awning. And then this guy, this agricultural shed is 200 square feet. You don't need permits for those smaller buildings. I have been contemplating putting, you know, there's one over there with a water cistern behind it. I've been contemplating putting another here with a cistern behind it. Uh, and I mean, I could put another one here eventually with a cistern behind it. And I've thought about that corner and the side there, basically surrounding the homestead to prevent wind. It, it'll give wind blockage, rain harvesting, and I can store feed for the agricultural use and so on and so forth. I've been really careful saving all my money and I did really good this last month. And I'm going to save half and I'm going to invest half in the homestead. So those are a few of the projects I'm considering. And then... I'm going to redo the entire geothermal. I love the way that it was. That is a really efficient, cheap way to do it. If you want to spend $200 and have yourself a $2,000 geothermal, <laughs> it worked. But I'm going to frame it in now and put, uh, I'm going to wrap it in plastic the first time. And then I'll save up again and I'll put down the corrugated sheets of plastic on it. So this geothermal, 32 feet long, 16 feet wide, it's done the trick really well. I'm really happy with it. And I could just wrap it. I could button it up a little and wrap it. It'd be golden. But by framing it out, it's just going to be really nice. And because I can afford it, I'm going to do it. That's happening within the next month. By the way, look at all that space to grow, in, as well as the aquaponics grow bed. There's six rows of potatoes over here, two Hugo cultures, a huge compost system. There's a Hugo culture over there, and then this hoop house. And I'm growing in all of these areas. I've 5 x my growing area. So I'll definitely get the, the greenhouse built, and then maybe we'll do the, you know, a perimeter fence or an agricultural shed. And then I'll, you know, I'm putting, I'm saving half of that money, and then I'll, I'll wait again until I, you know, save up again and then we'll do it again. And what I'm, what I'm really saving aside for is to put in possibly a septic system, an alternative septic system, something to that effect that the county can expect, inspect and be happy with so that I can start building. The savings I'm putting aside is so that I can put in a septic system or an alternative septic system that'll go in combination with my composting toilet system so that I can build a house. This location in the corner I've always set aside for my house. It doesn't look huge and it's not. I don't need a huge, huge space. I'll make a home large enough for me and a small family just in case something happens. Maybe an off-grid woman will wander out here, you know, like a like a milkmaid might be walking down the road one day with her cow and, and then we'll get married and she can move in and there will be room for us and some kids if that happens. But just in case, because I'm going to be here the rest of my life. And uh, a lot of people want to know what I'm most interested in building. For me, all that matters is that it's a smart home that works well here in the high desert. My plan... What I want to do so far is to dig down one story underground and then the home above will face this way. It'll have windows and three sides of it will be covered in berm. I might have grass on the top and foliage. It'll basically be an earth home. I don't care if it's built out of sandbags or timber or studs. I don't really care. Whatever's most frugal, I will get the same bang for my buck. I'll just be careful to make sure that it's an earth home, basically. When I build my home, that is probably the first time I'm going to really stop and take my time building here on the homestead. You know, the sheds are going to be improved over time, the greenhouse. But when I build the home, 
I'm gonna have granite countertops in there. I'm gonna have a beautiful fireplace. Hopefully, you know, an old fashioned stove, wood, you know, that heats water and all those things. And it's gonna be small and really nice inside. Anyhow, I've got work to do, but if you wanna know how I've made a nice, uh, I mean, part of how I made a real nice chunk of change this last month, Zendier, I use that power station every day i love it it does a phenomenal job for me i sincerely think it's a great unit for you you can save money uh if you use my link and check it out i made a nice chunk of money from them and right now i think the video i did with the 4600 sold so many units for them that they were wiped out but they restocked just for you guys so check out the link below make sure you subscribe uh, enter to win the power station I'm giving away and I'll catch you guys on the next video but wait there's more <laughs>